Hello and welcome to Play With Me Toys for Kids. So I've had a question for a long time and this question started with me brushing my teeth. So I brush my teeth about twice a day, once after breakfast and once in the evening and I've always had this question when I brush my teeth. So my question is, how are there stripes in my toothpaste? In some toothpaste there's not stripes, but the type I usually get has little stripes in it. And I've always wondered, how are these perfect little stripes in my toothpaste? So today we're going to be doing an experiment and looking together at how this works. But first off, I just want to show you guys what the stripes look like in case you use toothpaste which does not have stripes. So here we have some toothpaste and I want you guys to think about how do you think there are stripes in toothpaste? Maybe it's in the bottle or kind of set up somehow. So go ahead and be thinking about how you think there are stripes in toothpaste and you can check and see later if you were right. So as you can see, there are just these perfect little stripes. Some toothpastes have four stripes, some have five, and some have three. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by cutting open the top and we will see together what's in the top of the toothpaste. So as far as I can tell, that looks completely white. I thought that maybe the stripes were in the toothpaste already, kind of in the middle so that when you squeeze it, there's stripes, but it looks like not. So I'm gonna cut a little bit lower and we'll see that maybe the stripes are down lower. So this also looks mostly white, but when you go down a little bit deeper, there starts to be green. So if I take off this layer of white here, it looks like there's some green down here. I'm not sure I completely understand yet. Interesting. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go wash this out and we'll look a little bit closer. But first I'm gonna go ahead and take all of the green out with a spoon. Very, very interesting. So I don't think we've come to a conclusion yet but let's go ahead and make this a little bit cleaner and try to take a peek. So it looks as if all the green is down at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it out though. As you can see, there's little, little holes at the bottom and this little wall in the middle goes high enough that the green doesn't go over it. So all the green is at the bottom, and when you squeeze, it goes out through the holes equally, and then the white goes out through the top hole. Very, very interesting. I wonder if this is the same for all toothpaste brands, or only this one. However, this makes a lot of sense. And as you can see, there's little holes there as well. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys with this pin here. So as you can see, I stuck the pin through the hole and then it simply comes out. The same happens with the green part of the toothpaste. It simply goes through the hole and then when you squeeze it out, it comes out in a straight line. Pretty cool. So all the toothpaste is white, the green simply sits at the bottom and when you squeeze it, it goes through these holes and the white comes in through the top. If you guys would like us to do another experiment with toothpaste, you can go ahead and write that in the comments. Perhaps you'd like to see one with only three stripes or maybe one with more stripes. If you have any requests, you can go ahead and write it now. I think this was really interesting. I really didn't know this about toothpaste and I've always, always, always been curious. So now when I brush my teeth in the morning and the evenings, I can look at the stripes and I can say, hey, I know how those stripes are made. So, fun little fact and a fun little experiment for the day. 
If you like this video, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. In the comments, remember to write how you like the video. And also, if you would like us to do another experiment with toothpaste, maybe you have some really great idea ideas, so you can go ahead and share them with us. Also, go check out our channel and be sure to subscribe while you're there so you get the newest videos and updates. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!